What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Got another great countdown for you guys. Also, thank you so much for the support. Really couldn't do without you. Of all the 20th century rockers, Eric Clapton's career is probably the most prolific. From his time with the Yardbirds in the mid 60s, all the way to the poignant and downright amazing Unplugged album. Clapton can't seem to help but produce hit after legendary hit. So let's go down to the crossroads and count down the top 10 Eric Clapton tunes. Let's get to it. Lay Down Sally. Now this tune is one of Clapton's few country crossover hits, written and performed in the style of frequent Clapton collaborator J.J. Cale. This song has a driving southern rock vibe that for the time was a departure for Clapton's British blues style of the mid to late 70s. This song's dueling southern rock guitar grooves are perfectly subtle but still drive the song and definitely put a smile on my bearded face. Wonderful Tonight. This lovely song proves that Clapton may be one of the greatest ballad writers in rock and roll history. Written for his frequent muse, Patty Boyd, who also happened to be George Harrison's wife. I know, right? This song is probably the most poignant in Clapton's catalog. But keep in mind, he's still a guitar god, first and foremost, which is probably why, despite being so delicate, the song's intro guitar riff is instantly recognizable. Cocaine. Speaking of recognizable guitar riffs, this song may contain one of Clapton's best. Originally written by J.J. Cale, a man you will hear about again very soon, this cover is an exploration of Clapton's fascination with Southern rock. Funny enough, this tune actually has an anti-drug message. It's about the false sense of superiority you get while high on the drug. Clapton will even qualify this by saying, that dirty cocaine, when playing the song live. Don't do drugs, kids. Change the world. Another amazing ballad on this list, Change the World, shows a more mature side to Clapton's style. Even though he didn't write this amazing song, he still adds his signature guitar and vocal style that makes it his own. Clapton's version of this song is so good, he was able to transcend the fact that it was written and recorded for a mediocre John Travolta movie. I Shot the Sheriff. One of Clapton's greatest covers and a staple of his live show. I Shot the Sheriff may be my personal favorite tune in Clapton's catalog. Even though no one can take this tune away from Bob Marley, Clapton definitely gives him a run for his money. He expertly mixes Marley's reggae styling with the bluesy tones Clapton is known for. Tears in Heaven. Tears in Heaven really showcases Clapton's power as a songwriter. He was able to tap into the grief of tragically losing his son to compose this amazingly touching tune. The guitar playing perfectly matches the softness of the song, and it's easy to get lost in the emotion of the track when listening to Clapton's impassioned vocal performance. After Midnight, move over, Patty Boy, because this song was written by Clapton's real muse, J.J. Cale. The Clapton's version of this song became a near instant hit in the early 70s, and it wasn't just a success for Clapton. It also launched J.J. Cale into the limelight. Clapton famously confesses that he doesn't believe that his version is as good as Kale's, and claims there are some aspects to Kale's guitar playing that he can never master, and that's saying something. Crossroads. This tune explores Clapton's love affair with the Delta Blues. Originally written and recorded by blues legend Robert Johnson, Clapton first performed this amazing song with his band Cream. Clapton's performance of this blues standard is almost unrecognizable from the original recording. It's injected with an electric blues energy that just wasn't possible when the song was first written. Layla. Arguably Clapton's most recognizable song, Layla is another one of Clapton's songs that was made possible by the beauty of Patty Boyd. The name Layla comes from an Arabic love story called Layla and Majnun. Surprisingly, the song wasn't an instant success for Clapton. It took Clapton's good friend and legendary guitarist Dwayne Allman composing the recognizable riff for the song to develop a life of its own. Sunshine of Your Love. It's hard not to love everything about this song. It's lyrically hooky, it's got an amazingly simple yet instantly recognizable riff. It was one of the first songs to define the psychedelic rock genre. If you remember from our intros countdown, this song was inspired by the stylings of the late great Jimi Hendrix. Elements of Hendrix's music combined with Eric's grit rock stylings made this song one for the history books. What's your favorite Clapton song? Are there any that you think we missed? Bell Bottom Blues, Old Love, Wide Room? <laughs> He's got a lot of good tunes. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for supporting Marty Music, and uh, we'll see you real soon.